Hey, Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're catching up on the timeout. It's been a little while since we made a video for the timeout. Uh, it's just been a lot of little detail work, which we'll show you some of that. Uh, but we also had a few big milestones. We chopped off the keel, we got some footage of that. We uh, made the uh, instrument panels. Uh, we got the deck done. We worked on the exhaust and uh, Renee's been really hard at work on the gel coat. We dropped the engines in and a few other things that we'll cover in this video. So stay tuned. We're picking back up with the timeout. It's a project we haven't made a video on in a while, mainly because there's just been a lot of sanding and fiberglass going on. Frank, can you go over what we... Uh, what well, we since the last time we uh, did a little bit of uh, filming, we went ahead and Renee uh, kind of jelcoed the whole upper cabin on the outside and on top of it, the flybridge. And he uh, buffed it all out, polished it, and then we started putting some of the hardware back on the boat. But there's been a lot of steps we've done over the time. Can we see some of that? So yeah, you can go ahead and um, walk over there from the front. It looks shiny, looks nice. So all this is re refinished, right? Yes. And now this eyebrow wasn't here before, right? This wasn't here. This was just, uh, imagine it's flat all the way to, the, to this lip right here. And this is custom made. Oh, uh, so this, this, is, this actually sticks out a little bit. Out. Oh yeah, it looks clean. Everything looks really clean. We just gotta paint the nonscape. That's the old nonscape, so we just gonna paint over it. Just put a fresh coat of paint down. Yeah. And today we're picking back up with the engines. Now it's time to put the engines in for the last and final time. That's right. There you go, minus one keel. That's like three quarters, seven eighths of an inch thick. So now you gotta glass the bottom of the bottom of that. Yeah. What are you gonna, you gonna how thick are you gonna lay it up? About the same thickness. About kinda, you know, uh, make sure we smooth it out underneath, around the edges, underneath the boat. Yeah. And then start uh, all the way from here, do some layups, like around seven layups. Seven layups? Uh, and wait, wait, the, let's, he, let's hear it. Matt, like, I Matt, like combo, Matt, combo, Matt, 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 uh -huh. combo, combo, Matt, Matt, combo, Matt, Matt, combo, Matt, combo, Matt, combo, Matt. <laughs> okay, here's the bottom of the keel, all glassed up and ready for bottom paint. All right, all this has been repainted. It's looking nice. Fresh gel coat, all buffed out. Blue stripe. Some cool uh, scuppers. If you're wondering why there hasn't been a video in a while, it's because it'd be about a thousand hours of this. Yep. Because that's what Renee's been doing, right? Just oh, gel oh. coat, paint, sand, buff, over and over and over, right? Yeah, the whole boat. The I whole... sanded down the whole boat. 
four times. Four times? And Buffett two times. Wow. Well, it shows. Okay, what are we doing? All right, we are cutting out the gauge cluster panel, whatever you want to call it, for the timeout. All right. So you can see here we got uh, four SMX uh, digital view displays and uh, got a rudder angle, angle indicator here and a uh, GPS or something here. Autopilot. Autopilot, that's it. And we got a, bunch, we got a couple keys. keys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Screen timeout. We lost power. There we go. Okay, key we're and back. push button, builds light, builds light, key, push button. All right, sounds good. We're making this out of stainless steel. So we're gonna just try a small, let's try a small cut for a tester here. All right. Tell us a little bit about this machine. Oh, this is a plasma cam with a Hypertherm 1250 plasma torch. All right. That's really the heart of this whole thing. That's Excellent. what does all the cutting. And it's a plasma cam 4x4 CNC plasma table. Excellent. We've had it for what, about uh, three or four months? And it's been, it's been very handy. All right. a lot of things. I think we cut through an inch plate of steel yesterday. Let's check that out. This is the capabilities of this bad boy. One inch thick steel. Wow. Okay, we're gonna just try a little test hole here. One of the key switches. Okay, here we are with the final product. We've cut the perimeter of the instrument panel. And uh, we had a little bit of warpage on there. Obviously, the plasma cutter gets pretty hot and it's thin material. But overall, it turned out very, very nice. Next step will be to brush the stainless and to clean it all up, deburr the edges, and we'll be in business. Excellent. Not too much dross, look, the back's pretty clean. Yeah, that's good. So here's the lower station. We cut this out of stainless steel on the plasma table. So you got our SMX gauges, his uh, GPS, and um, rudder angle indicator. So here's the upper station ready to go in. It's a little dusty, but we laid everything out on the computer and then cut it out on the plasma table. And here we got the uh, double double, SMX double double fuel filters. So we got our two filters, our vacuum gauge, our priming bulb pump, and uh, we got two of these twin engine boats. We got two of them set up, and they're re all ready. I put them all together and got them ready to go into the boat. So we'll uh, show you what this looks like when it goes in the boat. So here's the SMX fuel filtration systems, one for each engine. And this is the day tank that Renee built. And so we transfer fuel to the day tank via an electric transfer pump. You got the pickups, sight gauge. And uh, of course our squeeze bulb priming kit makes it easy to prime the engine. Okay, so we're doing uh, some soft patches in the deck here to make uh, room to get the engines in and out. So we're adding some plywood here, some lip, a lip that's gonna get, it's already been all glassed. It's already been fiber coated with fiberglass. And these are gonna go underneath to make a lip and uh, get bedded in Q-cell and screwed on. Here's how the deck turned out after being installed and gel coated. All the hatches cut, hinges set, the bait tank on there. There's some soft patches here in case you need to take out the engine. These soft patches come up but they're they're cocked into place and uh, it's ready for just the finish non-skid and final buffing and, and what have you. So coming along. Okay, here's the exhaust riser on the port side, just kind of comes across to a surge tube and then out through the stern. And here's the starboard exhaust, just comes out the turbo up and over to the surge tube. A nice high riser, as high as we can go. And then out through the transom. 